Hey guys, what's up? Dragonbricks here, and today I'm going to be doing a review on the LEGO Ninjago Sons of Garmadon set 70639. Now this set, um, well first we're going to take a look at El Packaging. So on the front here, we have the Mask of, I believe, Vengeance. There's Mr. E and Zane with his bow. Coming up to the top, a picture of Zane and Mr. E, and the Ninjago symbol, uh, turn around to the back, just a bunch of stuff that you can do, here it says, down here, three to collect, so there's three separate masks, being deception, hatred, or hate, and vengeance, anyway, that does it for the packaging, so first off, we will be taking a look at the figures, now first we'll take a look at the Ice Ninja, Zane. Now Zane is one of my favourite ninjas, in fact he might be my favourite ninja. No clue why, just really like him. Probably because he's an android, which means he's a ninja plus robot. <clears throat> um, he In the set he does come with bow and arrows, but I decided that I didn't really like that look, so... I swapped that out for this armor and gave him two swords, which is, in my opinion, a lot nicer. Say, uh, we're gonna have a quick look at his face. So he's got a bit of a. Um, just gonna let the camera focus for a second. Come on. And doesn't want to work for me now. Give me a second. Doesn't want to. Doesn't want to work for me. Come on. Oh, there we go. You can see it a bit better. So he does have an angry face. He does not have double sided, which is really good. Really good. <clears throat> Moving on to our second character, the bad guy in this, Mr. E. And it turns out, spoiler alert, you have five seconds before I spoil something for you, so go. Alright, so it turns out Mr. E himself is actually a nindroid, not a person, which was quite surprising to see. And I'm really curious to know how the Sons of Garmadon got their hands on him. Or created him, I should say. You can remove his helmet. And it's just two eyes. No mouth, which begs a question. How does he talk? No clue. But I like him. He's a really nice character. And I really love these two swords that he's got. And there's something really cool with this figure that you can do. So first you've got to just... Um, oh dear, sorry about that, just got to remove the head and arm guards, and we come over to this, the stand for the Mask of Vengeance, and then we just remove it from the stand, if it will do that for me, thank you, and I'll just... Okay, so what we're going to do is, I am doing this one-handed, so it makes things a bit harder for me. Come on, Mr. E. I said you're a cool villain, now you've just been a pain in my ass. Don't do this, Mr. E. Anyway, so we put the Mask of Vengeance on him, and now he's got four arms. And you can actually remove this if you wanted to, but it's on a separate helmet piece. I don't mind it, but I don't like it either. I reckon they could have done something else somehow, I don't know. You can even remove the horns if you wanted to. Um, because I'm going to get the second one soon, I will be doing that. So I'll be removing the horns, so I can just have it plain before it's been put on. <clears throat> anyway, that's that for that one. Now let's move on to the vehicles.
First off, we have Zane's bike. And this is a really, really cool bike. It does have stud shooters, but uh, I don't mind it. I don't mind stud shooters too much. It's those spring loaders that I truly cannot stand. And I wish they didn't really put them on, but they do. But stud shooters, they suit it. I like it. You can move these two gold blades here at the back, but it's personal preference, so I'll prefer to keep them like that. There's a flag on the back. Again, you can move it up and down. I like to keep it here, personal preference. <clears throat> Something really cool about this is it includes the Falcon, which hasn't been seen for um, a little bit, I believe. So what you do, you lift one, you lift two, and then you can remove it. And here we have the new Falcon. Um, I do prefer the old Falcon though. It was smaller, but it was a lot nicer. This is a bit big and clunky, I could say. But, oh well, whatever. And then moving on, to the bad guy's vehicle, we have Mystery's bike. And this, I really, really love this bike. Out of all the Ninjago bikes I've seen, this takes the cake. It really does. On the front, it looks like saw blades. And in the TV show, I believe they are. You got two swords on the front. You got the seat here for Mr. E and a flag as well that you can move up and down, personal preference. But I'd say the coolest thing about this is this feature. So you grab onto these, lift them forward, and like that is, they move up and down, but if you move it too fast, it'll look maybe kind of silly. Either way, it looks kind of silly going up and down, but eh, it doesn't matter. Like these blades on the front, I reckon these would make cool swords for a future mech set or suit I should say um like it's it's really really cool and with the mix with purple black and red it seems to do like it, it mixes in really really nicely the flag at the back is the sons of garmadon logo i don't know why these guys like garmadon so much he's probably just going to betray them in the end once he's resurrected and he will be resurrected because he wouldn't be included in the sets if he wasn't resurrected so he will be back sadly and I don't like the new I don't like the new look for him I gotta be honest but anyway <clears throat> well there's not much else on this set but I will say that if it, it's a good way for them it's a good way that I like that they included Zane in this whole thing. Like, they could have put this in with Lloyd's car, but they didn't, and I'm glad that they didn't. But with Zane, they really should have given him that armor. I'm, I'm disappointed they didn't. But anyway, that's all I have for you guys today. Um, please subscribe, like the video, leave a comment, and I'll see you all next time. Bye!